quick look at getting started with Canva. And we're going to use this to make featured images for all our blog posts. So we're going to begin by creating a design up here. Uh, I'm already logged in and uh, we're going to use 1200 by 900. You might you'll have to type that in that was already in there for me. And that's going to create an image that's a that's a good size for our blog posts, uh, not too big a file size. And it's going to give me a bunch of templates here and I could search for templates if I wanted to. But um, I know that I want to use a historic image. I want some text and some color. So I think this is going to work for me. So I'm just going to pick this one. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I want to change this image. And I've already downloaded some photos. Now, I I could search for photos here, but if I want to do something, it's going to be historical on industrial America. I'm probably not going to find what I want. So in a subsequent lesson, we're going to be learning about um, how to search for historic archival photos. So um, I'm going to I've actually uploaded this Lewis Hine photo and I just did it by dragging it in. OK, so it's already there. So now that that photo is there, I can just drag this in here and I can replace it. So that's that's great. Now I want to change this text. So I'm going to get all that text and I'm going to paste my title that I want in. I don't actually need this down here, so I'm going to go up and I'm going to delete that element. OK, and then I'm going to want to make this maybe right justified. I always think that looks a little cooler. Uh, I want to change the background here. So any element color like this black, as I go up here, I can find black. So in this particular case, it's the green I want to change. You'll see that's turned to green and it picks up colors from the photo, which is kind of cool. So I'm actually going to go. Maybe I'll go with this. Yeah, I like that. Very somber. Uh, by the way, I think I want to move this over a little bit and move this over and you see how I get these centering lines and what now. I have one more thing I want to add a, a little bit about the photographer. So I'm going to go into here, select it all. And um, I have something on Lewis Hine, but it's really kind of the wrong aspect ratio. So I need to do this with it. And notice I'm lining this up with this. So that's nice. This is a little quotation thing. I'm actually going to move that right there. I don't know why. I just think it looks cool. OK. So I take a look at it. I kind of like it. By the way, I could always hit undo up here. Uh, I could search for other photos. I could search for elements. I could play with the text and all kinds of things. But we don't need to make this more complicated. Um, obviously, up here I can adjust the text size and change text there and do all kinds of other effects. But I'm pretty happy with this. So the last thing I want to do is I want to download it. So I'm going to go here to download. Um, and uh, right here, I get a choice. Now, a PNG file is a really big file. And if I were going to print this, I'd want to use it. But I don't want to print it. And I don't need something that's that big a file for the web. So I'm going to pick a JPEG, which is a smaller file size. I'm going to go download. And it is downloading it. And just to show you what I got, I got that, which is going to be great. That's perfect for me. OK, so that's getting started with Canva.